Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite techniques. You can achieve this real model here uh, in two steps using a screw modifier to do the shape and then project um, the texture of the plane on your model. So let's start from the beginning. Okay, let's add a plane like this. Okay. Okay, go to front view, just add a vertice and then go to edit mode and extrude the point like so. Just do roughly the shape. We're going to do it more accurate with the help of loop tool. This is an embedded add-on that you just have to uh, Activating the user property. Okay, let's align the points. Okay, add some detail here. And here. And do the same for this one. Okay, you can delete this edge here and then. To have something more accurate here, you can add some point. And now with the loop tool, you can relax to have something interesting. So now, with the help of the speed flow, you can add the screw modifier. You just have to maybe it's uh, 36 steps. Okay, and now you have to modify the the origin point. Like so. Okay, so now you can apply everything to have a real mesh without any modifier. Okay, like so. And now you go to front view, you select the plane, Ctrl J, and now you project with the Quick Pay, uh, Quick UV Pro. You project from view like, like so. So select your model and detach it. As you can see, you can you have some problem with the projection here, but you can fix it with Control Middle Mouse to enter in the model UV, and then SX, okay, and you can do the same thing for the pedestal here, okay, SX, okay, and you can st even stretch, um, select the point. Here, control middle mouse and then GY. Okay, you can stretch your texture like so. So here, here is what you've got. Maybe we are going to add some um, interesting reflection. So at the light point. So now <coughs> we are going to add some metallic in the in the PBR here. So let's make it metallic. Okay, and you can adjust the roughness. Yeah, maybe like so. And now we are going a separate material for the glass. Okay. P. Okay. So let's duplicate the material here. You can call it glass. Okay, and then here you just have to, to give thickness to your model. So exclude the face inside. Okay, and now you can add some transmission in it. Okay, and just maybe um, make it less rough something more shiny okay for the glass so we've got something interesting I think maybe we can add something more uh, more bright for the glass you can just add here uh, a U saturation box with uh, let's say uh, three value okay you 
got something that I think is quite interesting. I'm not sure there is. Yeah, we've got something nice, all right. And maybe, oh, okay, you have to, to decrease the value of the metallicness, okay. So now you have something very interesting. If you just duplicate this lamp, you can see you have some interesting trans uh, transmission. And as you can see in a few clicks, you have something very interesting. So, if you like this video, please uh, subscribe and like. And uh, in the second one, I'm going to show you how to make the, the glass part with a real PDR, with uh, no texture coming from, just uh, from scratch with PDR, but in the next tutorial. So have a good day and see you soon. Bye!